Hello, today we're going to make a really beautiful feather shaped jewelry tray. So first I put some blue green mica powder and I've already mixed that up in one cup of resin and the other cup of resin. I'll show you how to do that with this silvery white mica powder. You're just going to add a tiny little bit in this one because it's only a little bit of resin. Go ahead and stir it up really well until you don't see any of that powder left. And we're also going to add some gold foil flakes directly into this resin. Now in the blue green resin, I added some white glitter and that's important because you'll see at the finished project how beautiful it turned out. So this is the gold foil flakes. I'm directly adding them into this and I put a lot in. You'll really want a ton because it shows up really well in the final, pro um, in the final piece. And then you just if you've ever worked with this, you know how sticky it can be once it gets the resin on it. So just push it down into there and stir it up really good. See how it's sticking to the sides? And it almost looks like there's too much, but trust me, it turns out perfect. So here's probably the most difficult part of the process. It's getting the resin into this back part of the mold. But if you do it the way I did it, you'll do it just great. I'm pouring it along the edges and then watch how I will gently squeeze the back. See where the, that air bubble is coming out? Right there. That is where the resin has a hard time getting back in there. So just continue gently squeezing the back of it without overflowing it. And then you'll want to gently squeeze where the feather stem is or you'll get a hole in that because you'll get an air bubble. So I like to do that, and it turns out perfect every time if you do it exactly how I did it. So then you continue pouring the resin along the edges, being careful not to get an overfill because it makes a mess. And then see how we still have a little bit of a clear space there in the middle? Before that accidentally fills up, I like to go ahead and add the white gold foil resin and I'm putting all of it there and just get it all out and just put it all along the middle. And what this does is when you demold this, that whole bottom of the feather is going to have this beautiful, shiny gold texture. And it's really beautiful. Then you're going to go ahead and work that into like the edges of the mold and be very careful not to make it drip around the edges. And this is me kind of incorporating it. You don't want it to be completely white there. I'm going to mix some of the blue in with it. And you can see how I'm sort of very gently pushing some of that gold foil into the edge so it blends a whole lot better. Just very gently. If you want any of these supplies that I'm using, I've linked them in my description if you want to know anything like the mold or the different mica powders that I used or even the resin I used. It's in the description. And then once you've already put all of the edges, once you've pushed it all down the edges, put just a little bit more resin on top and smooth it over. Make it flat with the top of the mold. Just barely do not make it overflow. It's so messy. This is where it's set overnight already. I'm going to go ahead and peel the edges back and you're folding the mold over the feather very gently so we're not ripping it, but it is really flexible. And then you kind of peel it back all the way little by little and be careful not to rip the bottom part here where the stem is very gently and see the stem came out perfect this is what the mold looks like without the resin in it and then when you flip it over look how gorgeous this is I absolutely love how beautiful it turned out it's very summery it's just I love it this is a great for jewelry, so you can put your earrings or your car keys on it or 
whatever you want, really. You can see how big it is compared to my hand. It's mostly a jewelry tray. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I have a ton more resin tutorials on my channel. I would love to have you join us. And I hope you have a great day.